In this lecture, we will be dealing with six topics in recurve bow tuning. One, bow setup. Two, installing accessories. Three, knock to bow string fit. Four, installing the arrow rest. Five, installing knocking point. And six, tying the knocking point. Namaste, namaskar. Welcome to Level 1 Archery Coaches Workshop Training, Examination and Certification organized by the Archery Association of India, AAI, Coaches Committee and supported by OGQ, Olympic Gold Quest. The most exclusive, expansive, detailed, hands-on training, assessment and certification program in India for archery coaches. In the second part, we'll give you insights and recurve tuning of competitive recurve bows. Tuning and bow setup are the processes by which the archer can adjust the bow and arrow so that the flight problems caused by the archer's paradox can be minimized and good arrow grouping can be achieved. The tuning process is a whole system process wherein the bow, all its attachments, the arrow and the archer can be brought into harmony. Any change, simple as it may be seen, can affect bow tune. Sometimes as simple as a new set of finger tabs can have a dramatic effect on a finely tuned bow. The tuning process is a discipline wherein the shooting characteristics of the arrow are modified to optimize performance. Bow setup is a series of equipment-based tasks, whereas tuning is required to accommodate the short variations caused by the archer. Properly made matched arrows will group tightly when shot out of a shooting machine. However, an archer shooting the same equipment will experience short variation. Now let's see bow setup. What is bow setup? Assembling all accessories and then setting each accessory to the ideal setup is known as bow setup. This is the step after bow assembly. What is bow assembly? Putting all the components of a bow system into place is bow assembly. But this is bow setup. The next step is installation of all accessories. Before starting the bow tuning process, be sure to install every piece of equipment on your bow that you intend to use during shooting. This includes the correct bow string and all attachments to the bow string, bow sighter, stabilizers, arrow rest, cushion plunger, counterweights, etc. Choose all personal items as well. Your finger tab, your chest protector and anything else that you will use while shooting. For example, as told earlier, simply changing a stabilizer can have an enormous effect on the tune of your bow. Once the equipment is fully assembled, the next phase in the process of achieving well-tuned equipment is a good preliminary setup. If the initial or the preliminary setup is done properly, the tuning process can be accomplished with very little effort. By following this bow setup guidelines in the initial preparation of your equipment, you can eliminate many of the possible tuning problems that can make the process time consuming and unsuccessful. Adjustments made to the bow, changes in bow components or alterations in shooting form can affect the tune of your equipment. Remember, you are and your equipment share a unique relationship and are totally integrated. Any change to either will produce varying results. During the tuning process, it is vitally important that you change only one variable at a time. Otherwise, it is very difficult to determine what adjustment cost any grouping change. Now let's check out knock to boasting fit. The force necessary to separate the knock from the bowstring serving is very critical, especially on light draw weight bows like 35 pounds and under. 
no tension should be tight enough so that the arrow can easily support on its own weight when the arrow is hung from a bowstring in a horizontal position but weak enough so that the arrow will fall if the string is tapped sharply with your finger you know like this you put the string and your arrow and you tap it up in order to get the proper knock fit you can use either a large or small groove knock or adjust the serving diameter by choosing different serving thread diameters if the string tension is too loose there is a danger of the knock slipping out of the string at full draw causing a dry fire this not only will damage the bow but can also cause serious injury to the archer's bow arm now let's move to the next step installation of the arrow rest installing the arrow rest now in the market a wide variety of arrow rests are available to the archer of different kinds they are all have one thing in common they must be fitted so that the angle of the arm assists the arrow to stay on the rest and does not allow the arrow to slide of the rest before the shot is made arrow rests range from the simple stick on plastic variety to adjustable metal arms which move away from the arrow as it is shot high speed films show that the main function of the rest is to support the arrow during draw and during the initial movement of the arrow forward as archer's paradox takes place the arrow lifts from the rest the rest needs to be adjusted so that the center of the arrow is the, is contacting the center of the cushion plunger the center of the arrow shaft will contact the center of the cushion plunger the plunger button and the support arm must be adjusted so that it is not visible when you see from outside from on above uh, you know the arrow shaft will observe from a bird's eye view this is the arrow rest this is the the arrow when looked from above you should not be able to see the arrow rest at all now the next step is installing the knocking point installation of the knocking point is a common step with all recurve bows install a movable knocking point on the bow string clamp on types are satisfactory and easy to install but affect arrow flight we suggest initially position the knocking point on the bow string about 4 mm or about a quarter inch about the zero of the t scale right you put the put the put the arrow right and in the center the to put the t scale in the center where zero is and about 4 mm about the lower knocking point right it should be the four and from zero 4 mm about the knocking point the knock of the arrow must be placed about this knocking point after this knocking point is in place tie a second knocking point above the first one with sufficient room between the two points so that the knock will easily fit in between this will prevent an arrow from sliding down the string during shooting finally let's check out how to tie a knocking point the tie down knocking point is made with a short piece about 30 to 50 cm or the 12 to 20 inches of the same serving material that you use to serve the string whatever material you use to serve the string you need to use the same material for a tying a knocking point begin by tying an overhand knot around the bow string serving next take the free ends turn them as under the bow string and tighten the knot alternate knots above and below the string until you have tied 8 to 10 knots end the knocking point by tying the final knot in a square knot cut off the loose ends to about 5 mm about a quarter inch length and then heat them with a match or a lighter they will burn back to the main knot and fuse the fibers of the string you use for the knocking point this knocking point can be moved up or down by the serving by twisting it since it acts like a nut and bolt and the serve string acts as a screw this is the reason you should use the same material as you used for the serving since you get a perfect thread match if you are in a hurry 
you can tie a temporary and more simple knocking point with serving, serving material or dental floss can also be used for making a knocking point or use a copper ring and then you press the ring with a, with a, with a, a plier. Now let's answer five questions from this lecture. One, what is the difference between bow assembly and bow setup? Question number two, can we start the tuning process before installing all accessories? Question number three, what is the test to check perfect knock string fit? Question number four, which part of the arrow shaft must be in contact with the center of the cushion plunger? Which part of the arrow shaft must be in contact with the center of the cushion plunger? Number five, the last question, why should we use the same material used for the serving to make a knocking point? Well, so much so for this lecture. Catch you soon in the next lecture with the next part of recurve bow tuning. Since the lecture is loaded with information, it will not get into our heads easily. As I said earlier, it is, it, if it does, it must, you must be genius. Please listen to the lecture over and over again in your headphones. This will truly help you understand what I say. Keep repeating till you are thorough with it, till you have completely grasped it. Find the answer to the five questions and please send them to me on direct message on WhatsApp number 9841618386. The common mission for all of us is the same, to make India, our motherland, Hindustan, the ultimate in archery. Let's join hands towards this goal and chant, Om, 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 Olympic medal, Olympic medal, nothing but the Olympic medal in archery. Jai Hind, Vande Madaram. Bye-bye, God bless, catch you soon.